The final race of the day will come from Epsom, and it's the City and Suburban Handicap. It's daughter 80 over 10 furlongs in SO7 land. Pilcomeo help at the top for Derek Hinton. has also got Speed of Light, Euphoric, Paul Rose, Blushing Groom, Martin Lidham, Jay Lethal, Matt Cooper, Rock Chime, Alex Cherry, Safe Topsy, Graham Clutterbuck, Rude, Matt Cooper, Hooties Rebellion, Paul Fisk, Fireplace, Obi-Wan, and Rezwan, Stuart Caskey. A field of 11 then in one of the most famous old handicaps of the season. And away they go. Closest to us, Blushing Group was quickly out, or right on the far side, Euphoric in the blue with the red cap was also quickly away. Derek Hinton's uh, to the fore as well, and as usual, Obi Wan's horse has come through to challenge for the lead. And Fireplace it is is going to get across to the fence and take them along through the early stages. Here are our, I think it's our first visit to Epsom all the season, and it's Fireplace in the lead. We're back in only about three weeks for the Derby, and Jay Lethal is back in fourth place. In second place for Matt Cooper. Then comes Speed of Light. Blushing Groom is after that one. Pilker Mayo help is next. Euphoric has just dropped back a little bit. Rock Chime is going to try and go up the inside rail. Then Hooty's Rebellion is next. The two Greys are at the back. Rude and Safe Topsy. Also Rezwan is also rolling around on the track of it. Doesn't look like he likes the course. But it's Fireplace who's well clear at the moment by about five lengths or so from Blushing Groom in second. Jay Lethal is in third. Then Speed of Light and Pilker Mayo help. After that one is Euphoric, then Rock Chime and Hooty's Rebellion. A gap then to Rude, Safe Topsy and finally Res One. But Fireplace for Obi-Wan is a good five lengths clear then with just a little more than four furlongs to go. But now Euphoric and Blushing Groom are beginning to close. Then Pilker Mayo help is after that one. And then on the wide outside, Hooty's Rebellion is trying to get into it. So to his speed of light, Jay Lethal is still there on the inside. But it's Fireplace who's keeping on in the lead from Euphoric in second. Blushing Groom's got itself boxed in on the inside rail. Pilker Mayo Help is in third. Stable mate, Speed of Light is coming with a run. So to Jay Lethal also coming around the outside. Now it's Safe Topsy the Grey. They're past the two and racing downhill to the finish. And it's Fireplace in the lead from Pilker Mayo Help. Blushing Groom's now got a split. Then comes Speed of Light, Euphoric and Safe Topsy trying to run and they hit the furlong pole and it's still Fireplace in the lead from Pilker Mayo. Fireplace kicks on again. Fireplace for Obi Wan from Speed of Light and Fireplace racing inside the final half. Well, he's not stopping and in fact he's pulling away and Fireplace takes it for Obi Wan with Speed of Light second and Euphoric and Hooty's Rebellion. Jay Lethal after that. All the way back to Res who didn't go on the course and will surely do better somewhere else. But it's Fireplace. Who took it a pretty confident win that because he was pulled back into the pack and then pulled away again. He was off a lightweight, but it's still a good performance. So fireplace then for Obi Wan, good winner there. Speed of light second for Derek Hinton. Euphoric for Paul Rhodes was third. Hooty's Rebellion for Paul Fisk was fourth, and Jay Lethal for Matt Cooper was fifth.